Hi, I'm artist rep Elizabeth Gale with Face Paint Forum Shop and today I'm going to show you how to do a quick design using any stencil. I'm just using this superhero one that I've got in the UK, but you can use any stencil. And I'm going to do a Hulk design. Um, where, and I've got a little finger dauber with some superstar light green. And you just want to place your stencil in the middle uh, for this arm design and just mark out, you can use the stencil just to roughly mark out where you want to put the shape of the colour underneath because you're going to go over the top in black um, in a minute. So I'm just marking out that area there. And then I'm also going to use another stencil just to add a bit of interest in the background. And this one is a badass mini geometric stencil. I think it's 1406, yeah, is the number. And I'm just going to do a little bit at the top of the pattern and then turn the stencil around and do the same on the underneath. I'll just move my arm up so you can see. And just like that. And then in the middle there, I'm going to go over with the stencil. So I'm going to load up another finger dauber with some DFX black and I'm going to do the Hulk. So when you're doing these finger dobbers, you don't want too much um, wet paint on so they're really tacky really dry is much better for stencils and um, this is a bit too dry so I'm gonna put a little bit more um, water on and then you just test it out on your hand just to make sure before you go in and make sure the color underneath is dry before you do this next part so you place it where you want roughly over the color that you've already sponged and it's quite tricky doing it on your own arm <laughs> much easier doing it on somebody else's arm or face and then all over. I'm trying not to move the stencil. And then peel it off and hopefully you should have a nice crisp um, stencil pattern if it wasn't too wet. And then I've got a three quarter inch flat brush. And I'm going to use this fusion um, palette and it's a Leanne's collection and it's the fairy palette. And in it, I think this is called Tink. Um, it, it comes in a one stroke on its own as well. And I'm pretty sure this is the same version. I think it's called Tink. I may be wrong. <laughs> um, so I'm going to load up that colour because there's sort of nice hulky green colours. And I find fusion paints, uh, I just find they take a little bit more loading so than some of the other waxier paints. So I'll just keep going over until I get a nice load on the brush. And then sometimes you find I just dab it off on my towel so you can see I've gone putting some other painting so it's got lots of marks all over this towel so it just takes off the excess water if you've got a little bit too much on. And I'm going to do a design so a swirl that comes around the top and gradually comes in to the side of his face and you end up on the tip of the brush so you've got the dark green coming round. And you just go back over it again just to give it a bit of a darker colour. Like that. And then we're going to do it underneath as well, going back the other way. So with a dark colour on the bottom. And if you look where you started and then go across to the other side, almost diagonal, you can start there. And drag it up round and end on the tip of the brush by the other side of his face. I'm now going to go back to my DFX Black and I'm going to load up my, I've got a low Cornell number two brush. One of my favourite brushes in the whole world. <laughs> and I'm going to just do some line work around the edge. And I've got a bit of, you can see I've got a bit of a black smudge there. So a good tip is just to dip your paint brush in just some water and then just paint over the top and it clears it out of the way. Cleans it off ready. It's much easier than using a wet wipe. So yeah, I've loaded up my uh, load up the brush really well with some black. I just want to keep going over until you get a good load on it, and then just swirl your brush in the paint so you get a nice sharp point. Just make sure it's dry before we go over the top. It should be dry by now. 
And then I'm going to do some line work that just follows the, so use the shape of your uh, one stroke and just follow it around. So it's a long, what, like a, it's not really a teardrop, it's more of a long kind of swelling shape that ends up on a point by the side of his face. And then I'm going to do the same across the top. So whatever I've done on the bottom, I'm going to do the same on the top. It's not going to be perfect because that's, you know, that would take a miracle to get that absolutely perfect. <laughs> but um, the same each side. Uh, but it's near enough and nobody's going to complain about it. So and do the same underneath another one and then I'm just going to connect them because this is a kind of boyish design that's going to connect them with a bit of make them almost look they're not tribal but a little you sort of get that idea and so the same on the top as well and then push down and finish on the tip of your brush Tell that in. and I've made that one so yeah, I've made that one a bit thicker so I'll go in on the bottom and just make that one to match And then here I just make it up as I go. So you could do another one along the bottom going up. And a flip down. So you can do any line work here. And if you're using like a unicorn stencil in the middle or a princess stencil or something more girly, you could make these this line work much more swirly. But you know, who's to say you don't want a swirly hulk? I mean, I'm sure <laughs> girls like hulks as much as boys. So you could do a swirly hulk as well. And just, and just make it up as you go along. So I'm going to do another long teardrop at the top and a flick out. It's the same as what I've done on the bottom. And then, a, and then just carry the pattern around. You almost want it like it's sort of following the shape of his head and swirling around, around his head, if that makes sense. It gives it a nice flow. And this idea is that I think we'll be painting a lot of arms um, in the next year, maybe or so, until it's things settle down a bit more. So, you know, when children come and ask, oh, can I have Hulk? Or, or, or you know, for example, or any kind of thing that they would normally have on their face as a mask. If they don't want it on their face, they want it on their arm. It's really hard to draw a Hulk or, um, you, know, or you know, if you haven't got time to do a unicorn, you can just use a quick stencil and then do a pattern like this around it and it and it sort of makes a, a quick stencil much more exciting. And I love doing swirls and creating patterns like this. Just, I could sit and do it all day. It's like it's like therapy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a few more on the ends and just and that just tidies up the end of the one stroke. And connects the design all together. And then I'm just going to use a bit of the same, uh, I've got, no, this is a number number four low Cornell brush. And this is a neon orange, and it's by Tag. And then just swirl it around so you get a nice sharp point on the end. And then you can do some nice dots and it just adds a bit of exciting colour to it. I, on top of the green, this orange really pops, which looks really nice. So you can just do some... Same as what you've done on the bottom, on the top. And anywhere where you've got some gaps that you want to fill in. And then I think I'm gonna add some little white highlights. You could totally leave this step off if you're pushed for time. And so I'm going to load up some DFX white with my number two brush. And just a few little highlights on top of his head and his mouth. And I'm going to put some on the long black lines as well. And that's the design finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. I'm a big fan of arm painting, so if you like if you'd like some more ideas, you can visit my page on Instagram at sparkleface underscore face painting for more ideas. And don't forget to visit Face Paint Forum Shop where you can find all these supplies and lots, lots more. Thank you for watching today. Goodbye.